Welcome to Still Plays Galaxy Heroes. This is going to be another one without a title card. This is Grand Arena, the final match of the first week, season 60. Really, I have no idea, which is why those title cards have apparently been pretty useful to me. We won the last round. It was a little risky, though. Going up against my opponent, Nugget, here. He had a pretty weak defense. A lot of things left for offense. He could not clear my fleet, though, and my defense stripped banners. It doesn't really reflect it too much, though, because really, you see, not too many defenses got holds. We have Rex here in this territory. Down below here, we have Saw and Luthen picking up a hold. And then over here, same deal. We have Radis and Cadme taking holds. Now, I was expecting to full clear, and I should have, but when it came here, I just kind of slipped in my head. I just forgot that the tie dagger, or not the tie dagger, the Sith dagger, whatever it's called, that it had been reworked. So I just brought in the Chimera counter, not even thinking. I just slipped my head that I should have used a mirror, which was why I had the Leviathan in my inventory anyway, and I was able to take it down in a second attempt. But that, what it ended up doing is it prevented me from taking out the Profundity, which I should have been able to do had I had a stronger cleanup. But we went on banners because even though not too many of my defenses got holds, it clearly was stripping banners for my opponent. My final opponent of the week is clean or clean. This is going to be a tough one because I was traveling last week. I have terrible data crons right now and I think I'm missing enough counters that I would need to get through this guy. We'll see how he played. I haven't looked yet. 11.6 million GP, so about 100k more than me. He's got more Zetas, so he's a long-time player. Only a couple uh, fewer Amis than me at 39 to my 41, so we're pretty comparable there. He is a 7GL player to my 6, so we do have a couple 7GL players in this bracket. And then Relic units were very similar. He's at 205 to my 191. With the Relic distribution, he has... We're pretty similar. Although, actually, he's missing ships. We got stuff that he don't, because he at Tier 9 only has 3 Tier 9s. That's good. Mod-wise, it looks like we are stronger. He has a whole bunch of six dot mods and his counts aren't great, but they're not terrible. But it would suggest to me that he has six dot mods that he otherwise shouldn't. Datacrons, he's looking good. No Ray, but he has Relic 8s on everybody else. Some people outside my window being weird and confused. Uh, and then looking at the Amis, we got Relic 7 Melgus. 307 speed, well modded. His Iden with an Ami, triple Ami Star Killer at 295. His dash is at 300 on the nose. We'll be looking at him. Afra, triple Ami. Everybody else got one. Qui Gon, Swolo, none. I think Swolo is perfectly usable even without Ray, which is why you see I have a Relic 9 one. And then we've got Zori, no Third Sister, no Bodalord, no Jar Jar, no Cadme. This is good news. This means. It's going to be a little bit easier for me to concentrate my firepower and not have to reserve as much for maybe the back wall or other teams. Although my opponent does have a tough defense. Now the rest here, Maul, Cadmiel, that looks fine. No Leviathan, which probably means punishing one is going to be tough for him to clear. And then he's got a six star profundity. We'll jump here, take a look at the quality of his modding. His dash was at 300 exactly. So organize this by speed and take a look. There's his dash. That means he is shallow on his super fast characters. And his Padme is at 299, which means he only has 32 characters. And I'm at like 46 or something. So we have a meaningful advantage over here. I might even have more than that. Am I in the 50s now? I got to recount. I have no recollection of how many I have now. We've got more. Now, looking at this, he's probably attacked by now? No, has not attacked. Maybe one attack. You know what? Let's take a look at his history. Because I want to get an idea of here what are the chances he's going to attack. And it looks like he plays. He's waiting for me. But we are seeing very low banner totals. Very few full clears. So we'll see. But the bigger problem is I am very scared of these GMK blows. This messed me up in the first round of this week. I don't have a lot of counters to this right now. I did change my defense a little bit because of this, but I I feel like my lack of preparation on the new Datacron set is an issue. Had we had a couple more things, we might have some more options here. It does mean something like Jabba, we're gonna have to multi-hit. But before we do that, we'll break down what 
my defense is. We got Jabba, and I put Datacrons on everybody who can, and everybody who doesn't have a Datacron. They are still tricky teams that pick up holds. My Tuscans have already got holds this, this session of Grand Arena. Now, looking below is one of the small minor changes that I made, which was I did have Third Sister on defense, I pulled her off because I'm hoping that at least in a cleanup scenario, I can count on her in 3v3 and up oh, against that JMK. The rest, I, what did I swap in instead? Maybe this, da I think that dash was there. I don't know what I, what change I made. Maybe it was Saul Luthen put them on defense. No, they were there before. I have no idea. And then back here, we had a bounty hunter team that was only there because we had the boss cron last time and they're absolutely useless. So they were removed and I replaced them with the separatist squad. I don't expect anything from the separatists but I wasn't gonna use them on offense so it seemed like a good enough squad to put there on defense and then here's a look at fleet we'll jump forward now we have to deal with we already looked at this but it's Starkiller JMK Jabba, Seer Junda, and we are looking at Radis. Now, gonna need to be careful, but there'll be things that we can do. And we have Asajj. That one, we, we need to make sure we don't get caught because it does have an Asajj Kron. Crux, we are looking at the Gideon Kron, which we should have Melgus for. And then we have Leia and then his Melgus. We're not gonna mess around with this. This has just been Seabane for me. If I had a stronger Bane, we could just go Bane, but we don't. And I don't know when we will, because I'm working on getting Balin's Skull and Ahsoka as quickly as I can. It means we need to be farming up signal data, and it's just really hard to put signal data onto things that are off track, because that is the toughest and rarest thing for accounts these days. And Cairo's really not a problem. By the time that I have farmed the signal data, I have doubled the farm on Kairos by like 2x. I'm sure that's an exaggeration, but you get the you get the point. All right. Well, AoE they're attacking. We're going to try and get some attacks over on R2. Should look at the other armies on Bane, see if I want it. All right, we get our alt. We will blow. No, 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 stay, stay away, stay away, stay away. All right, let's blow them up. Drogon's gone, let's hit R2. We will link. Just lay down. We'll increase. And we'll do an AoE, which will hopefully take out R2. Oh no, we can land a shock now, finally. Alright. Actually, is this making it easier, her being linked? Can we just take her out first? Oh, is that a tank revive cron? Don't like this. Don't die. Oh, I gotta plug this in. I'm gonna AoE, I need to heal up a little bit. Okay, this should do it. All right, that gets us started. Now, this is gonna be Melgus. 
I don't really want to approach it with anything other... Oh, wait. I really think this is our best option, but I need to think about that Malco squad. How do I deal with Malcos in 3v3? Net, this first week of 3v3 is always, always like a journey through my memory. This is actually... Wait, I gotta figure out how I want to split this up. Because what I did before was Malakos, but I did like Darth Revan... Mallet, which will work and will be fine, but it means I can't use. I don't. I'd have to find a different counter for Malakos, the Sirjuna Malakos squad, and they don't have Sith Eternal Emperor anymore. Yeah, I need to think. Looks like I can use Bodalor, so I'm gonna hold off on that one. I'll hold off on both of those. The my old counter to Crex was Kellerin, but since CG changed how Kiati Mundi works and he no longer taunts, it doesn't help. It, it, the counter's broken. Not broken, like they nerf the counter. I, I, mean, I don't I hate people when people talk like that. Uh, just, that counter's no longer an option. I think, let's just go here. Let's see how far we get with this. We can do cat, we will do our own Jedi. We'll do Plo, where we get our tank revive, and we get this. We'll be able to take out his cat at a minimum. All right, let's see where we get. All right, we are, yeah, let's reset. Let's put the Shane on. Self-select here. Does he have a tank revive? Yeah, he has the right revive. Let's go with the AOE, get the turns, help charge. And then, just attack. I'm kind of tempted to trip it right now. Oh wait, I need a self-select. I need a self-select. Okay, there's our revive. Retribution, he alts. Come on, we need to do it. I need to get him faster. Do I wait a turn? You know what? We 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 waited waited this long. Let's see if we can. Okay, here we go. Alright, I'm going to reset cooldowns on Kenobi, we will take out his cat, can we just, what if we just ignore and try and take out his, uh, well he's got foresight on everybody so we're going to basic, I'm wondering if we just go after Kenobi and ignore Plo. Because Plo is... We can't even take him out. Now we are in the situation that I thought we would be, where I feel like now we can bring in the Inquisitors, and I feel more com feel more confident that the Inquisitors can win. Awesome. We're good. Okay, now we don't need to worry about that. Still got to deal with Plo. This damage immunity is going to be a pain. We're just resetting cooldowns right now. I'm going to self-select, work towards the ultimate. Are we going to time out with this damage immunity? does appear to be that way. Alright, there's an, a nice big hit. Here's some big hits. Let's reset. Okay, there's one. <clears throat> oh, 
we still got the alt going. There we go. Awesome. <clears throat> now it means we don't have an ideal counter for Jabba or an easy counter for Jabba, but I think I can two shot, well, not I think, I know I can two shot Jabba. It's just a question of what my first attempt is going to be. Maybe we use Afra. What's the level six? Okay, evasion up. I'm feeling pretty good. Like that was the team where we could get stuck up against. And now I feel like there's a path forward. I want to be careful with Baudelaire though, because I think we got to get to his back wall. Or do we just do it? Because we have other counters. Like, could I pick apart Lord Vader if we had to get, if we did get to Lord Vader? I just don't see how we do this without, like, a legit Melgus team. Because if I could go in, like, weak sauce and just, like, did, like, this, I just don't think that's going to work. I think I have to have in at a minimum Malak. But I think not having Malak breaks both teams, both, both counters. But if I use this, I don't think we get through Malakos. So I think we got to gamble. I think we're in a gamble here, and we are going to do Baudelaire, I hope, because this has a good win rate. And what kind of light side options do we have? Well, we probably have a, we have tank revives, so let's do that. Yeah, we can use this. Okay. Right, so we take these AoEs, but I'm immune to daze. That's the good part. Do I want to heal? We're about to take our turn. I don't care about the heal. Let's just start attacking. And then we do this. We're going to do protection up. I want to make sure she stays alive. All right, down. Okay. Should be dead. I should have healed for her banners. It's fine. Okay. And now. Melgis. And this Assage team, I have no idea. I've never seen it before. What does this even do? So, stun takes a bonus turn. So somebody being immune to stuns would probably be nice. Or somebody who can just prevent revives. You know what this you know what this feels like? This feels like a great mother situation. So let's do Night Sisters and let's just try Great Mother here. So this feels like I can just eliminate the concern and negate a lot of what's going on. Because we can... Oh, wait. I forgot about that. You can't ignore taunt. Whatever. We're fine. Let's bless Elsbeth. And then let's quickly take out zombie real quick. Come on. Alright. Taunting... All right, let's dispel. Okay. All right, now we'll t we can doom who we want to doom. And start attacking Ventress. Um, we don't need to heal, so we'll attack Ventress again. Attack. This might do it. Okay, there goes Ventress. Now we can go after Marin. And there's no revives here. This is part of the reason why I wanted to bring in Great Mother. So everything that Marin does is not really a big deal. They don't really have attackers other than Ventress. That's why I wanted her gone first. And we're ignoring protection, which is messing up zombie. Yeah. 
That's why I felt good about this, even though the zombie taunt prolonged things a little bit, it didn't, like, alter the match. Now, Krex. Krex, Krex, Krex. I could do Seer Malikos here. This is why I like to strategize and plan everything out ahead of time, because I, I don't want to get painted into a corner. Because we still got to figure out Jabba. This, this Seer Junda team, well, let's just do this team, because right now, the whole reason I did Baudelaire was so that I could retain Malgus for this. That was the whole point. So let's take this off the board. 10% ally defeated. Just stay off the keyboard. Mm, maybe. All right. Little hit over on Malikos. Let's fear everybody. Let's fix this camera. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let. There we go. Just wanted the turn to get feared. Okay, protection up is gone. Feared again. I'm gonna leave the fear on Malikos. Throw down fear on everybody. Can I just maybe get to a drain life? All right, big hit on Malikos. Shock, no shock. All right, well we can drain him and hopefully kill him. Good. Sir Juno will go down fairly quickly now, and then it'll be over. Alright, we get a little shock. Big hit, and let's auto. So I have not watched a thing since I've returned from my trip, which means I'm not done with Agatha and I'm not done with Penguin. I have multiple times tried to watch Agatha before bed, but then I fall asleep. Because I'm still like on Central or Mountain Time, and I'm trying to hold on to that. It's kind of nice waking up early, going to sleep early. Especially somebody like myself who its natural inclination is to have some pretty absurd hours. Yeah, Radis could be Afra. Jabba could be Afra. The Star Killer team. This could be annoying. I actually don't really have a good plan for Star Killer, do I? I guess I could do like a Star Killer mirror. Because I just, after I get through Melgus, we're not going to have good Jedi left. Probably the smartest thing for me to do, though, is going to be something like this. I think. Or do I just throw in JMO? They have about the same win rate. So having a nearly identical win rate, he doesn't have the tank revive. I think we do it, and we'll do Jedi, and well, we can't really stun them. Okay, let's do that. Special ability, get turn meter. This way we at least retain JML for something. It's not going to be a huge deal, but it's not nothing. And it is a weaker comp. Yeah, let us... Throw an armor shred on Fallen. We don't need to waste it on Melgus because he's going to get one shot. Colin and Jolie to give him protection up. Okay, Fallen's gone. Probably didn't need Jolie here, but whatever. 
All right, we'll throw an armor shred. That'll give us our 30 stacks of, what is this called again? Impetuous. All right, Melgus is gone. And this ought to do it. Which now gets us to this Krex situation. I think we're doing Malikos. And we'll see what kind of trouble we painted ourselves into in the back. We're gonna do Cal, but I don't know, maybe we should use a Datacron, but this is what we're going with. One of those characters I desperately want to get up to Relics. But one thing at a time. These are the realities of a free-to-play account. You just can't have everything all the time. So you gotta work with what you got. Alright, fives is down. Now let's take out Rex. Or both of them, whatever. Bit overkill, that's why I didn't really want to do it. But now that my Keller encounter is no longer reliable, we gotta use something stronger. And this is what I was afraid of was seeing this Lord Vader. But there's no Maul. And what what level three does he have? Tank Revive. Okay. So most of this I'm not concerned about. Yeah, most of this I'm not concerned about. But we do have JML, which we can't we can't do him on a first attempt, but maybe on a second. We could attempt Fennec or Afra and then work on cleaning this up. But the problem with doing Afra is I kind of really need Afra, I think, up against Jabba because I don't have a good first attempt up against Jabba. I have a good cleanup on Java. So I think I'm going to gamble with bounty hunters. But you'll see that my bounty hunters are no good. Because we have Fennec. But this is my Grief and my Mando. And, I don't, and it is Thrawn. Like, this isn't going to win. Maybe if I had mine at Relics. That's what I don't like. What if I didn't bring in Mando? No. I think what we... We gotta, we gotta get through Jabba first. Because if we don't get through the back wall, so be it. I'm still thinking I have a pretty good shot at things. Now, Jabba... Who's making my progress on Java? I'm feeling see, what I two things I need. One, Kylo, obviously. Like I've been trying to see what I can do without Kylo, but it, it really is playing Grand Arenas with one hand tied behind my back. Other one though is Bane. I got to push his relics higher because if I was able to just separate my Sith Eternal Emperor and my Bane and still reliably counter the teams that I want to counter, really be able to get through Leia, then all of this would open up. And really just having Kylo would mean I could use Kylo as a counter instead of having to combine my Leia and my Bane. The choices that I am forced into making... Who's going to make progress here? Who's making progress? You know what? I don't like that I'm about to do this, but we're going to do it. We're going to attempt this. 
Because if this gets me through a good amount of things, then it really is going to help me out. And it's over. All right, let's get it. <laughs> it's over. I should have brought in DACA. Uh, I just didn't really factor in the fact that my Marin is gear 12. Okay. Anyway. How do I want to do this? Maybe we take out everything else first and see where we're at. What can we do here? You know what? We could crex this. I don't think I would consider... No, we can't because I don't have crex. Can't crex this. Well, you know what we're going to do? Let's do the Starkiller Mirror because that was definitely not changing. And I think my mods were slightly better on this. And you know what? Do we have another one of those turn meters? Use a special, get turn meter. Is that a light side one? Use special, gain turn meter. Perfect. This is what I want. Alright. He goes first. Whatever. I am going to hit his palp. We throw down, and we go. Let's hit the stagger. Okay. We'll hit on pelp. Boom, all right, we're good. We got two shocks, we'll take the free turn. Yeah, let's dispel, get rid of that crit hit immunity. I'm going to go from our Jade for a moment. Okay, now that we're back under stealth, we're going to go after Star Killer. Minimize the counters. Yeah, we're definitely doing this. All right, we're good. Alright, that keeps us going. We could gas this. Alright, let's look at that back wall. And we could definitely Afra, but right now I'm trying to hold back Afra for the Lord Vader situation. Is this. T this. It's Aurora? Seriously? Alright, we're gonna do my Vader thing here. Because without Chieftain, I'm no longer worried about it. Whenever an ally or enemy is... Yeah, let's get a bunch of turn meter. And then... I think I'm going to go with Trooper this time. Usually I go with the Sith, um, Sith, um, uh, the Sith Trooper, Lobster. Because his damage ramps up. But this time... No, let's just go with my how we normally play this. It's a weaker comp. I'm hoping we don't need to do anything fancy. Alright. So we got dots on everybody, and these dots can't go away, which is good. Well, it will when the Tuscans go down, technically. Okay, that's what we want. I, I'm going to try and not take out one of them, because we want to hit somebody with debuffs right, right here. If the target was already debuffed, we're reducing Dark Frenzy. That's what we want. Get more dots out there. What does this do again? Yeah, we're going to stealth and gain turn meter. Alright. Yeah. Go over here. Now target this guy because we want to get stacks of Dark Frenzy. So we need to uh, be hitting somebody who is already debuffed. So we're there.
Okay, no more debuffs. Turn meter. All right, now we'll try and blow him up. Not quite there yet, but we'll get there. All right, we need to weaken the other raider. We're gonna attack here. Eventually what's gonna happen is the stacks of loyal hand are gonna get high enough that we'll be able to just knock them both out. Yeah, we'll try it here. Not quite. We'll get them set up again. And the next time we have an AoE, we're probably going to have a pretty good shot at this. He's in the yellow. We'll give it a shot again. No, that's not doing it. you guys just let me have it we're at 51 okay come on and now I just lost my friend but we got it okay that's the idea Okay, now we have the rest of this. Kellerin. I could do third sister here. Yeah, you know what? Let's do third sister here. If we do that, what does it leave me for Grand Inquisitor? I feel like we can go even weaker. Or maybe we shouldn't. He does have a Master Qui-Gon. I definitely don't need Knight. Let's just be serious. No. I guess, whatever. We're going after Padawan with the basic. Now we'll do a torture with the foresight gone. Big hit with the armor shred. I'm going to remove turn meter from Qui-Gon because I don't want him to stealth everybody. Oh, I guess. Well, we ability blocked. It's the same effect. Foresight. Alright, well... I guess we're going after this death mark. A 
which is pretty annoying now that we're stuck behind it. All right, where are we at? All right, let's just AOE. Maybe one of these AOEs will take down POW. I didn't see the foresight. Okay, good. Kellerin's down. Oh, we got a death mark now on Qui-Gon, which that's good. Quick work of him. And now POW. Okay. The dash is not a big deal, and then the Hondo. Or not the Hondo, the Nest. I don't think... We're, we don't really need serious counters for either of these. Hmm. Alright, I think I got a plan. We're gonna Wampa this. Uh, let's do Dispel, just in case. I need to heat up my coffee. I don't want to be drinking cold coffee right now. Let's uh, go with that. Roar. Be basic. I wish I had nonsense to talk about. This is what I like to do during these kinds of battles. But really, I think it's just the elections taking up so much real estate, and I don't want to talk about that here. I do have thoughts on the Discord, though, if you want to see thoughts. Maybe, like, on Twitch or something, we can get a little less formal. If I... Whenever I start up Twitch again, but here... No, we're, we're talking nonsense or the game. And by nonsense, it's really nerd. Oh, you know what? We have nerd stuff to talk about. We have trailers. Okay, that's what we can cover. Brave New World trailer, a little concerning. It looked really low budget. Like, it looked highly either volume or green screen, which you don't want to see in a big budget Marvel movie. I... I like... Like, I kind of... I need to rewatch it. I've only seen it once. But in the moment, I liked the Edward Norton Hulk movie. I liked seeing the start of Leader. Um, and all of that is potentially interesting to me. The basic plot and premise of the movie based on the trailer looks intriguing enough. But it also has a February release date. That does not engender a lot of faith from Marvel Studios. So you gotta wonder... Do they think it's bad? Because they're releasing it in February, which might mean they think it's bad. And they didn't put a lot of money into it based on those special... Now, the special effects could improve. Trailer special effects are not the final. But I don't know. Well, let's do one fun thing. Let's do Mercenaries. This is probably going to be a, a huge mistake and a disaster, but let's do it anyway. Because I keep wanting to see what's going to happen if I do, like, Sign of Django with Sheen and Merrick. Now, I did this last round without Sheen Hadi, and we weren't doing any damage. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe we need something like this. This could be a mistake. It's probably a mistake. Yeah, that's about what I thought was going to happen. Let's get out of here. Now let's do a serious counter. I could Zerg it, right? I've got... Do I have Zerg? Or is he on defense? No, I got him. This will win. But do I want... I wonder what this would do up against Jabba. Is that crazy? I think this could do well against Jabba. Oh, wait, you know what? What kind of scoundrels do I have? I have Han, right? I've got Han. Yeah, I have Han. I've got Chewie, but I need a leader. What would you do? Offense, potency... Protection up. You know what? Let's try it. Unlo wait, what? Unless there's a... What's-his-face? 
Are you guys not mercenary? Oh, and that's Old Republic. Do I not see? This is what I mean by my terrible new datacrons. I don't have any mercenary ones, which would be pretty offense right now. That's not a bad cron, but it is Vandor. So do I think I can punch through Vandor? I don't. I don't. This is not a counter. Dang it, do I really gotta use Zerg here? Oh, you know what we can do? We can we can do Jedi. Oh, I still have JML. No, JML wanted to keep for a purpose. Let's do this. Because now we can mark Vandor. And just do this. Get rid of that daze. Boom. We will swap turn meter. Take the bonus turn. Spread the buffs. And boom, just easy. Which means we can definitely gas. What's his face? Radis. And we can retain Afra for one of these guys. Okay. So we're 100% doing gas here, although I don't have good clones. Hopefully that's not a problem. Protection up? I don't know. No. No. Maybe. Because they will be getting buffs. Alright, let's get to it. Not as much as without like Rex and Fives on the field, but this should still do some. We can prevent revive. Oh jeez, they got through me fast. This is just devastating. Are you kidding me? What if we could take out Cassian? Is that a dumb dream? So this is just counters gas now. I guess we'll hit you because you don't have protection up. But we're dead. Oh my god, we recovered? Let's keep going. <laughs> Alright, let's forfeit that. Let's not give him preloaded. Just terrible. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I guess we could try and zerg this. I just, I really wanted to zerg Jabba. You know what? You know what? Let's try something here. We do have some decent. Oh, no, wait, no, we don't. I used them. Never mind. Yeah, I really have nothing left. Well, I mean, I have some... I have a couple things left. It's just I, wanna, I wanted to utilize them up against these teams. And... Let's just do it. I want to know what happens. Maybe this is a bad idea. I just feel like... This should at least get me to a cleanup. Those AoEs should work. Because we're not relying on assists. So I AoE. Okay. Maybe I should have stripped turn meter. We'll have other opportunities. Okay, we AOE will hit the stagger. I'm getting a little worried, but we'll AOE again. We can revive too.
All right, next turn we can revive. Looks like this is not a thing. They're recovering too much. AoE. AoE. Maybe. We're, we're, it's looking better. I'm going to pull turn meter away. Come on. Just just kill Bosch. That's all I want. That did nothing. We're getting closer though. And we're going to get Rancord. Alright, we're AOing again. Yeah, this Rancor is coming for me. Nope. Not gonna happen. Which is really too bad. Pulling turn meter. Yeah, alright, it's over. <clears throat> Not even close. I really thought that would take out one of those fools. Which means I really think Afra is my only choice. This is why I wanted to play it this way. Afra is not going to win without a Datacron or Omicrons. But I still think it, she should set me up for a cleanup. Oh, I wish I had another turn meter one. That would be really good right now. But you know what? I'm going to use this. Health steal up is, or actually, yeah, health steal up. All right, let's start the potency train. Bring out our friend. Well, AoE. Drop Torture. See, if the Datacron on triple zero was still around, this would definitely set me up for a cleanup. I don't know if it's going to happen this time, though. Yeah, we're going to lose Afra. I may have played this in a way that gets us stuck in. Yeah, we're stuck. Yeah, we've lost our damage boost because Afra's gone. Let's get out of here. I don't think I can... Yeah, I don't have another way to do this. You know what? Let's try something crazy. I've done this to clean up a Jabba before. I don't, I've never used it this early in a battle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it now. If this can take out Bosch, that's all I need it to do. Don't die. Don't die. Come on, man. Alright, just, just do this one thing for me, please. Not even close, okay. Good to know, not even close. There's too much recovery. I don't have anything left. Yeah, this is not a thing. I'll be able to take out Lord Vader. I think. 
Yeah, let's get out of here. I think I've just got too much on defense. Okay. I try to play this as carefully as I can, and I just... I don't think I had the way through with what I have here. It, w it was also why I was concerned about using Baudelaire to take down Zerg in the front wall. Because if I had Baudelaire up against Lord Vader, we'd be fine. Then I... Or even Baudelaire... Yeah. Alright. Okay. Contract. Um, I'm just going to heal again. And we will... Let's take out Royal Guard. Because he can't revive. So that negates that portion of the Kron. Okay, whatever. Heal up. I'm just gonna start armor shredding. Okay, Thrawn's gone. That's fine. Heal, armor shreds, heal, get rid of the daze. I think we're good here. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so that part was fine. The only hold was me testing out Merrick and getting nothing. Gas failed me here, but do we have another option? Do I have anything? I guess I'm going to just try Han here. Didn't I have one for like, should we have protection up? Let's do this one. Offense. And speed if I lose anybody. Yeah. Alright. Probably just blow down Radis. Should I be attacking somebody else? Because this is not working. Yeah, that's not working. Yeah, that's over. I guess we use JML here. Because JML does nothing up against Java. So let's definitely do that here. Who you? I mean, we guess we have Hermit Yoda. Oh, we still have Kellerin. Like, that's still a team. Is that nothing? We'll do this first, but we'll preserve a Kellerin squad. Do we do, like, Ahsoka? What happens when they dispel buffs on these guys? It feels like a bad thing. Ezra? At least he attacks twice. I don't know.
I don't like this. They're gonna blow me up right now. This is just dumb and terrible. Well, we're gonna attack him now because he can't be revived. Well, I guess he can under Jin. This is awful. But I didn't have proper Jedi left. Alright, we're going to throw in Keller in. Where, where we got Qui-Gon, Kelleran will cam, we will light side it up with whatever this is, my last light side cron. And I keep going after Radis, but is that a mistake? I don't really feel like it is. I kind of feel like it's my only real choice. It's not a good choice, but it's my only real one. These, and the ability blocks are really killing me. Ninety-three percent, great. Blow me up. Terrible. Terrible. Just too much on defense. I have nothing. I have no chronic. Well, I guess I can give them a st Yeah, they got stats at least. This Cassian Cron though is increasing the difficulty here to a very meaningful amount and I'm not approaching it right We don't got a way through this. I think what we're going to do... Um, like, is there something I'm missing? I don't think we're missing anything. It would be so nice if I had Crux. He's not doing anything on defense. I might just take him off. It's, it's frustrating when a lot of things went right this match. But just a couple things that I needed haven't. Alright, we're going to do something way early that I don't want to do. I'm going to use my cleanup now and just see what happens. And then we'll probably be wrapping it up and just leaving it to my opponent to decide how much they want to participate. So this would definitely clean up Jabba if we were, it was just like a solo or even Jabba and Kersantan. 
I think with Bosch though it doesn't work but I've never tried it so I just want to see what happens I just think with Bosch they're gonna far too quickly go through decay we might not get enough blight Yeah, I just think they're going to rip through. Yeah, we're already at five stacks. Like, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose Judge Death pretty soon here. Let's basic. We'll give a bite. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's over. All right, we're going to call it. Because without him, there's no way to do the damage we need to. That's what I thought was going to happen if Bosch was on the field. It's a banner total that is threatening to my opponent. Because his participation, like we looked at it earlier. Let's pull it up now. The participation here, you can see how low it is. It's usually like we got 600, 400, 300, 1,000, 900, 800, 1,000, 780. Like he's, when he's even winning, very often they're low. This is a type of participation that says this is still in play. So we'll see what happens. And we secure our 2 and one finish to hold on to Kyber 2 and maintain our Kyber 2 streak into next week's Grand Arena. Up against my opponent, Cleaner Clean. He just ended up not participating really, did his minimum battle, and that was it so we don't get to see how the defense would have performed but we did what we needed to do and we will move into next week with a whole bunch of new characters and weapons we'll have Ezra in exile we'll have Padawan Sabine we will have additional stars and gear placed on to Great Mother on uh, not Judge Death but no Judge Death is done being farmed and Captain Enoch an additional star so we'll be able to see a lot more so thank you for watching be excellent to each other everybody this is still plays Galaxy of Heroes